Question number 11, Stuart Nash. Uh, to the Minister of Police. How soon after signing off to the Minister of Police, how soon after signing off on the police four-year plan in May of this year did she change her mind about there being no increase in police numbers out to 2020? The Honourable Judith Collins. Oh, Mr Speaker, the four-year plans reflect the known resources at the time of writing, and uh, the next month I met with police to discuss any ongoing uh, concerns regarding demands that they'll have in the future, particularly around family violence. Supplementary question, uh, Stuart Nash. How many extra police officers did she request in the 2016 budget round? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, what I have requested was funding for police, which we got. Sup uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. Order, well, I'll, I'll allow the member to re-ask the question. Sure. If she doesn't get, if it, ask the question again, if the minister chooses to answer whichever way, that's the minister's business. Question how, again. How many extra police officers did she request in the 2016 budget round? The Honourable Judith Collins. Oh, well, Mr Speaker, I didn't ask for extra police. I asked for extra money, which is what we got. We got around about close to $300 million to pay for police and also some of the other work that police is doing. I think that's a pretty good outcome for $300 million. Yes. How, supplementary supplementary how much, question, Stuart Nash. How much of the $300 million was specifically earmarked for new police officers on the ground? The Honourable well, Judith member, Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think I've answered that. The member's just refusing to accept that police getting paid properly is part of what government does. Supplementary, Sup supplementary question, Stuart Nash. When can Kiwis expect to see more police officers on the beat as a result of her admission that she made a mistake and a realisation that more police are needed? The well, Honourable Mr. Judith Speaker, Collins. I certainly have not admitted any mistakes, and the member should know that that's not anything I do lightly. Um, and, I'll st and he should not try and put words into my mouth. Um, he, he does, actually. Just because he's a right wing and we share certain views, there's no need to think he knows me. You think he's a lefty? Order. Well... No. <laughs> he's the, he's the Order. I think on this occasion the answer's been given. <laughs> Supplementary. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Let me... Order. Order, Dr Smith. Let me use some of the Minister's words. When she said twice yesterday that she was, quote, looking to the future, unquote, does she believe that she has a future as the Minister of Police if she continues to make such fundamental mistakes as agreeing to no increase in police numbers less than three months ago and then changing her mind when presented with the facts? The Honourable Judith Collins. As I've made it very clear, I have made no mistakes in this matter at all. In fact, I would say to that member, the only one here who shouldn't be talking about mistakes is him. Yeah. He's just pulling the <laughs> Question.